Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So I know I'm so behind on a lot of Bath & Body Works products. So I did an on, or not online, a test store order and decided to go ahead and order the Lakeside and the Italian collection. Um, mainly just because I know the Italian ones are coming out pretty soon. Like they've already been getting floor plans and stuff, but they still don't know which candles are going to make it. So I figured if I did want to just get one of each, now was the time to do it. So better late than never. So I know that a lot of YouTubers have already reviewed these and, and, and gone over these and everything, but I just kind of want to share it just in case anyone's like me and is really, really behind or is just curious about an extra opinion or just another look at them, you know, no problem. I'll just kind of read the quick notes that are in them so you get an idea about it. Um, I always feel so bad about making reviews because every person's so different. So I always try to just do comparisons, give it a metaphor of something it smells like, and then just kind of move onward. I, I never try to say it's great or it's bad. I just say, well, for me, I think this will be great, or it might be kind of weak, but you never know. So, you know, I, I try to just be open-minded, and I hope you guys are too. I think of you as my friends and my mentors, and I love learning from you guys, and I hope you can learn from me. So I'm just going to kind of basically talk about the fragrances to them. So... We'll start with my favorite one, Espresso Bar. And I'm not even the biggest coffee drinker in the world, hardly ever. Like, I barely ever drink coffee. And, and when I do, it's so altered. It's ridiculous. This one is so amazing. It's been one of the better sellers of this collection. <sighs> it is to die for. It really is. The technical notes are uh, roasted espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth. So this one, I mean, the vanilla froth, like, I, I hardly even get. To me, this smells like ground coffee. I mean, just purely when you, not even like going into Starbucks. I mean, if you go to your local store and you check out that aisle where you fill up your own ground coffee, it's exactly what it smells like. It's so strong and beautiful and perfect. And I want more. This is the main one I really, really wish that will make it to the permanent collection. So here's hoping guys. I love that one so much. That one I will say that I love because it's awesome. Then we have Sicilian Orange, which I know I do a lot of comparisons, but um, Yankee Candle has their World Journey collection that has Sicilian Orange, and they are so spot on to one another. I tried to smell them separately to um, see how different they were, and I didn't really pick up much of a difference. So that's awesome. This is a perfect alternative because I haven't burned that Yankee one because it's so hard to find for me in the South that I don't want to burn it because I love it so much. So this will be a perfect way for me to still smell that fragrance. The notes are orange, well, orange, Sicilian bergamot, sun-kissed lilies, and mandarin blossoms. So this one to me says so anything Sicilian always has that mandarin um, and orange smell. Like to me, it's so uber strong and sweet, but I love it. Like it doesn't necessarily make me think that I just peeled an orange and I'm about to eat it, and that's what I'm smelling. Like, Sicilian oranges have such a stronger scent and, and flavor to them that it just makes it so much more powerful. So for a candle, it's almost perfect because if you love the fragrance of oranges, this one's, it's so awesome. I absolutely love it. So I love that one. Another one that I think, I think those two will definitely, like, make the permanent collection. I really do. So here's hoping. Then we have Pizzeria which makes me laugh so much because after some of the success of some of their other candles, the French baguette and ugh, Thanksgiving, it's really, it's interesting. Um, it is cracked black pepper, basil, tomato sauce, and a warm crusty dough. This one is obviously not sweet in any way. We've learned that from French baguette. It is definitely, it, may, it doesn't make me think of a pizza cooking per se, but it really, really makes me think of when I cook like bagel bites or the, the pizza rolls that are very crusty. It smells like that toasted crust with tomato sauce. Like it's so enjoyable. I'm very interested when I'm not cooking anything in the house to see <laughs> if this will make my husband or, or anyone think that you're actually baking something versus that. So I find that to be very hilarious. I do love that one. I, I don't know that I'd repurchase it per se, but it's hilarious to me. Then we have Limoncello, which um, Limoncello is kind of, it's a, like a liquor that's in Italy, like a, it's like one of their best-selling liquors they've ever made. Um, I know in America, supposedly, it's getting on up there in popularity. I've never had it, even though I'm a very flavorful, mixed drink kind of person. 
I've never had it, so I don't really know exactly what to compare it to. At first, I thought maybe it was more like a lemonade, but it's not because it's because it is that liquor. It is the beloved drink limoncello with its notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. So it's definitely um, very citrusy, and I know that sounds stupid because it's a lemon, but I don't really get the sweetness that's supposed to be altered to it, the, you know, cane sugar, and, you know, I, to me, it just smells like very, very strong squeezed lemons. I feel like it does walk the border a little bit of, like, a kitchen cleaner, but it is still refreshing in a very good way. I think this is a perfect one if you did just clean your house, not necessarily with anything with lemon products, but... Um, something that's going to make your house feel cleaner than it is. You're fake and clean, I guess. It's going to make it feel like things are just beautiful top to bottom. And it's that perfect, refreshing, kind of like the Meyer lemon, just very, very fresh lemon. I know that sounds really dumb. I, I, I'm not good at explaining some stuff. But it's just kind of what I think. I think it's very a very clean lemon fragrance rather than a very sweet or very altered. Um, like the lemon mint leaf, which obviously has a very strong mint undertone to it. Um, to me, it's just a very, very fresh lemon. And I'll just move on before I just keep going on and on <laughs> about that one. Then we have Bellini Cafe, which this is a favorite for my types of... Um, things that I love to burn because I love berries. I love any kind of like berries and obviously they're very, very popular right now. Um, you know, this time of year, it's very popular fragrances that everything has berries in it, but also right now it's always like sweet cream type berries going on. So this one I like because it's not very creamy to me. The notes are sparkling berries, juicy apple and sugared grape notes. So definitely, I definitely get a little bit of every fruit in there. Because when you think about the fruits, it's like, okay, I definitely get the berries for sure. I definitely can smell a, an apple. And, you know, the grapes even. So it's definitely perfect for the types of candles I love to burn. I love fresh fruit. I love smelling it. I love eating it. So this one's actually quite perfect. I love that Bellini has always been in their body care type collections. And they've never really, besides peach Bellini, um, they haven't really branched out a, a whole lot with it when it comes to their candle collection. So that one's kind of awesome to me. Tuscan Herbs, which is very true to the title. It is a very herbal fragrance, not to sound dumb, but it is very earthy. It, ve it reminds me if you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and you're checking out where you can plant your own spices and things like that, and your spices and herbs, it smells just like the collection of plants that are there. The notes are uh, fresh basil, parsley, and garden greens. And so it's just perfect. It's, it's really good. Another one that makes you think of a very clean home, a very fresh home. And um, it will definitely, it's one of those that like gets me in the mood to gardening. Like I'm not even joking. I, lo I cannot wait for spring to get here because I want to garden some, like something awful. I'm all about yard work and that one like puts me in the mood. It's crazy. It's not floral in any way. It's just very herbal. So... Then we have Gelato, which I thought was going to be my absolute favorite, and it's actually my very least favorite. Um, when the Paris collection was out, um, it had the Sweet Macaron one, which was very filled with like a raspberry jam. It was so strong. I literally had to stick it in a corner of a huge room just to let it just get it, like run its course. It was so strong. This one smells a lot like a very, very, very weak version of that, which could be perfect, but I don't really like the way it came across. The notes are raspberries and strawberries with a sponge sugar finish. So just hearing the names, the stuff in it that is a creamy raspberry, strawberry, and sweet sponge sugar, you're automatically going to think like heaven. I mean, you're going to think cotton candy, berries, you think just perfection. But it's really not. It feels, it smells so artificial to me. Like it really smells like strawberry shortcake dolls. You know, when it was a plastic doll designed to smell like strawberry. That's what it makes me think of. It makes me really think of something that is plastic that's supposed to have a scent to it. Um, I really don't like it. Um, I'll burn it. I'll see how it does. But it depends. It could be one that I would return just for the simple fact that I don't like the fragrance. Not that it may not burn well or anything like that. Like, I'm just kind of very disappointed in that one. It's kind of a bummer. But those are just my personal opinions. I might not care for it. You may love it. It's, you know, vice versa. Every person's different. 
So that's just kind of my personal opinions because I love berries and I love herbal fragrances rather than I do more the lemons or the sweet creamy ones. Like some just really disappointed me, but overall it's a pretty decent collection. I'm glad that it's something different besides Paris for a change and it's kind of changing up. Um, they're actually starting to change a little bit and I like that because with Bath and Body Works, I feel like they just run the same stuff in the ground. I mean, all of the ones, the tropical and spring ones in stores right now, it's the same, same old stuff with, like, the exception of two new ones. So I love these collections that they're really broadening their spectrum a little bit. I mean, even when it comes to their body care, I mean, they make some of the greatest smelling hand soaps ever. And I've never understood why they can't make body care from those hand soaps. Because when you think of, like, Aloha Orchid and... You know, um, my favorite from the winter, the, um, was it the Black Cherry Merlot, or I forgot it now. That one was so awesome. Like, I, I wish they made those in body care, I swear. So, I feel like this is a little bit of a step in the right direction as far as their home fragrance goes. Like, they're actually trying new things, like with the Lakeside Collection as well. At least they're changing it up a bit. But it is a little disappointing. It's a little underwhelming compared to a lot of collections they've came out with before. So those are just my simple, I'm a, you know, I'm a simple minded girl. That's my opinion. But as always, comment, rate, subscribe. If you've got these, you've burned them. Let me know what you think. And as always, I will see you guys later. And thanks for stopping by. Bye.